Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I create my 3D roses. So I've got a tip here that I swatched um, in a previous video. Uh, this glitter is Party Popper in Silver from Nail Sugar. So all I'm gonna do is create my petals first. So I'm taking a small bead of white acrylic and then you're gonna to want to dab out the excess monomer from the brush by just dabbing it on your towel, paper towel, and then placing it where you roughly want your rose to be. So just leave it to set for a few seconds. Not set, but polymerize. Then you're gonna to have to split it in half, and not completely in half, but make a, uh, a C shape, so like a crescent moon shape. I think it's a crescent moon. You're going to want to spread it out as much as you want your petal to be, kind of, if that makes sense. And then using the belly of your brush, just pat out the petal, petal um, until you're happy. Now, if you are going to be encapsulating this, you're going to want to keep it quite thin. So that's my first petal, I'm quite happy with that. Then what we're gonna do is take a similar size bead and again, we're gonna dab out any excess monomer. Pop it um, the other side of the petal. So I work, I work in opposite ends when I do my petals. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference, but that's how I do it. So I leave that to polymerize for a few seconds. Um, that you can tell that that bead wasn't ready yet because um, it kind of sticks to your brush um, so I'll just leave it for a little bit longer then I do exactly the same um, I push it out into a C shape and then once I'm happy with how it is I just use the belly of the brush to push it out now you're going to want the petals to slightly overlap And then again, flatten it out as much as you can. So that is my second petal. I like to have four petals on my roses. Um, and then I have my center bit, which I'll show you in a minute what I do. So this bead is slightly smaller. Uh, so the further in the nail you go, the smaller your petals are going to need to be. So again, I repeat the process. Um, this time the petals are gonna be on the left and the right hand side. So again, you make your moon shape or your C shape with your brush and then push out with the belly of the brush. Then repeat the process on the other side. So again, I'm um, pushing it out into a C shape and then I will use the belly of the brush to uh, spread the petal out a bit. So now we're going to create the centre bud. I'm going to call it a bud, even though it's not really a bud. So um, the, the bead the, um, you need is going to have to be quite small. That first bead that I got was too big. Um, so dab out the liquid again. Pop it into the centre. Then leave it to set for a few seconds. So what you're going to need to do is I get my 
brush into a point and I pop a hole into the center of the bead I'll show you in a minute let's just wait for it to set so you'll know when it's ready because the acrylic won't pop back up when you press it it will stay in shape so my brush is in a point I'm making it into like a donut shape and then what I'm going to do is um, split the split the side I don't know if you can see very well and then just push one of the edges one of the ends into the center a bit so that it just makes a little kind of swirl make a donut then you split the, one of the sides and then push one of the ends into this into the middle just so that it forms a bit of a bud or the center of the rose not the bud the bud is an unopened rose isn't it I'm sorry if I sound croaky I've just woken up <laughs> and I wanted to get this done ready for YouTube because I haven't got any videos for today so I thought perfect I'd do this one So hopefully that gives you some idea, um, and that is how thin the rose is. And hopefully that gives you just some idea of how to go ahead and create um, 3D roses. So thanks for watching. Um, if you did find this video useful, please leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!